We call Northeast Florida the first coast for a reason. It was the nation's first and longest lasting place of European settlement, and it was the first thriving port area. Now a bill before the legislature could give the whole area a special designation, and that could mean more money. Our Jessica Clark on your side tonight with how that translates to more jobs. For hundreds of years, Northeast Florida's coastline has been critical for shipping, for jobs, for surviving. Some of that history is under the waves or eroding away. Because things are under the sea, because it's water, people tend to think that history stops at the water's edge. It doesn't. Kathy so Fleming, very... executive director of the St. Augustine Lighthouse, has been working to get this area, including portions of Nassau, Duval, St. John's, and Flagler counties, a special designation called the nation's oldest port national heritage area, not just for the title, but for the federal money that comes with it. And so a typical appropriation for this would be something like three or four hundred thousand. The money could go toward restoring historic areas, preserving old buildings and researching shipwrecks. And there are plenty of shipwrecks to learn more about. More than 500 ships are expected to be on the ocean floor just off the first coast. There are 55 national heritage areas in the country, only one other in Florida, the Gula Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor. It's been in the works for about a decade. It literally takes an act of Congress to get this kind of designation. So Monday in St. Augustine, Congressman Michael Waltz and John Rutherford announced a bipartisan bill they're pushing forward along with Al Lawson. If we can get it to the floor, it'll pass. And that's our challenge. Which would open it up to additional federal grant dollars for marketing for the area, for preservation, for archaeology. More prestige, more marketing. And then more tourism, more jobs. Uh, I think it's a win-win all around. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.